Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation roots 28 plus root 63 divided by root 35 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This uh, root 28 uh, can be written as uh, root 4 times 7 plus uh, this root 63 can be written as root 9 times 7 divided by this root 35 can be written as root 5 times 7 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Now this root 4 times 7 will become root 4 times root 7 plus this root 9 times 7 will become root 9 times root 7 divided by this root 5 times 7 will become root 5 times root 7 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Next, this uh, root 4 will become 2 times uh, root 7 plus uh, root 9 will become 3 times uh, root 7 divided by this root 5 times uh, root 7 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Now from the numerator we can factor out root 7 and in bracket left 2 plus 3 divided by this root 5 times root 7 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Now this root 7 will be considered with this root 7 and this uh, 2 plus 3 will become 5 divided by this root 5 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Now to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 5. We divide by root 5. So, in the numerator, this 5 times root 5 will become 5 times root 5 divided by this root 5 times root 5 will become 5 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed. Now, this 5 will be considered with this 5 and we are left with the root 5 is equal to 625 to the power x cubed and this uh, root 5 is same as 5 to the power 1 over 2 is equal to this is 625 is same as 5 to the power 4 whole to the power this power x cubed. Now by using this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This will become 5 to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 5 to the power 4 x cube. Now we have same base at both sides. At left hand side we have base 5 and at right hand side we have base 5. So, we can write this exponent 1 over 2, we can write this exponent 1 over 2 equal to this 4 times x cubed. So, this will become 4 times x cubed is equal to 1 over 2. And from here, we divide both sides by, we divide both sides by 4. So, this 4 will be considered with this 4 
and we are left with x cubed is equal to 1 divided by 8. Move this 1 over 8 to the left hand side this will become x cubed minus 1 over 8 is equal to 0. Next x cubed minus this 1 over 8 is same as 1 over 2 whole cubed is equal to 0. We have difference of 2 cubes so we use this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 1 over 2 cubed will become x minus 1 over 2 times x squared plus 1 over 2 times x plus 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 1 over 2 times x plus 1 over 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 1 over 2. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. To find other two solutions we solve this quadratic equation. To remove fractions we multiply each term by 4. So this will become 4x squared plus 4 times 1 over 2x plus 4 times 1 over 4 is equal to 0 times 4. So this 2 1 times 2 2 times 4 and 4 will be cancelled with this 4. We are left with 4x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 times 4 is 0. Now this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative p is 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 2 squared minus 4 times a is 4 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 4. Next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 4 times 1 16 divided by 2 times 4 8 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 will become negative 12 divided by 8. Next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus this root negative 12 is same as root 4 times root negative 1 times root 3 divided by 8 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus root 4 will become 2 root negative 1 will become i times root 3 divided by 8. Next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3 divided by this 8 is same as 2 times 4 and this 2 will be considered with this 2 and we get two values of x, x2 and x3 is equal to negative 1 
plus minus i times root 3 divided by 4 and we first found that x1 is equal to first we found that x1 is equal to 1 over 2 first we found that x1 is equal to 1 over 2 so we have uh, three solutions for this equation first is uh, 1 over 2 and the second and third is uh, negative 1 plus minus i times root 3 over 4 this uh, is a real solution and these two solutions are complex